Overview of the Israel-Palestine Conflict The Israel-Palestine Conflict is one of the longest-standing and most contentious geopolitical disputes in modern history. Rooted in competing nationalisms, territorial claims, and religious significance, the conflict has led to repeated violence, multiple wars, and failed peace efforts. Early History and Origins Ottoman Empire, 1517-1917 For centuries, the region now known as Israel and Palestine was part of the Ottoman Empire. It was home to a mixed population of Muslims, Christians, and Jews. While the Jewish population was relatively small, the area, particularly Jerusalem, held immense religious significance for all three Abrahamic religions. Zionism and Jewish Immigration In the late 19th century, the Zionist movement emerged in Europe, advocating for the establishment of a Jewish homeland in response to widespread anti-Semitism and pogroms, particularly in Eastern Europe. Zionism was spearheaded by leaders like Theodor Herzl, who argued that Jews needed a state of their own, ideally in their ancestral homeland, Palestine. British Mandate and World War I, 1917-1948 Following the defeat of the Ottoman Empire in World War I, Britain took control of Palestine under a mandate from the League of Nations. In 1917, Britain issued the Balfour Declaration, expressing support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine, while also stating that it should not undermine the rights of the non-Jewish communities in the region. During this time, Jewish immigration to Palestine increased, particularly in the 1930s as Jews fled persecution in Europe, including the rise of Nazi Germany. Tensions between the Jewish and Arab populations escalated, with riots and violence breaking out in the 1920s and 1930s. UN Partition Plan and the 1948 War After World War II and the horrors of the Holocaust, global sympathy for the Jewish cause grew. In 1947, the United Nations proposed a partition plan to divide Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states, with Jerusalem as an international city. The Jewish community accepted the plan, but the Arab leadership rejected it, seeing it as unfair and a violation of their rights. In May 1948, Israel declared its independence, leading to the first Arab-Israeli war as neighboring Arab states invaded the newly declared state. Israel won the war and expanded its territory beyond what was allotted in the UN partition plan, while Jordan and Egypt took control of the West Bank and Gaza Strip, respectively. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians were displaced during the war, an event known as the Nakba catastrophe, becoming refugees in surrounding countries. 1967. The Six-Day War and Occupation. Tensions continued in the decades that followed, with intermittent border conflicts and skirmishes. In 1967, during the Six-Day War, Israel captured the West Bank, Gaza Strip, East Jerusalem, the Golan Heights, and the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt, Jordan, and Syria. The war dramatically changed the geography of the conflict, and the West Bank and Gaza Strip came under Israeli military occupation, which remains a central issue in the conflict today. Israel's victory solidified its control over Jerusalem, which it declared as its undivided capital. This move has never been fully recognized by the international community, with East Jerusalem remaining a highly contested area, particularly because it houses some of the most significant religious sites for Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. The Peace Process and Continued Conflict Camp David Accords and the Oslo Accords Efforts to resolve the conflict have been ongoing, but none have resulted in lasting peace. In 1979, the Camp David Accords resulted in a peace treaty between Israel and Egypt, in which Israel returned the Sinai Peninsula to Egypt. The Oslo Accords in the 1990s were a landmark moment in the peace process. These negotiations, between the Israeli government and the Palestine Liberation Organization, PLO, led by Yasser Arafat, created the Palestinian Authority, PA, and granted limited self-rule to Palestinians in parts of the West Bank and Gaza. However, key issues such as the status of Jerusalem, Israeli settlements in the West Bank, the right of return for Palestinian refugees, and final borders were left unresolved. The Second Intifada and Gaza The peace process faltered, and violence resumed with the outbreak of the Second Intifada in 2000, 
a Palestinian uprising against Israeli occupation. This period saw intense fighting, suicide bombings, and military reprisals, leading to thousands of deaths on both sides. The situation worsened in 2005 when Israel withdrew settlers and military from Gaza but maintained control over its borders, airspace, and coast. Hamas, an Islamist militant group, won Palestinian elections in 2006 and took control of Gaza in 2007, leading to a split between the PA, which controls the West Bank, and Hamas in Gaza. Since then, Gaza has been the site of multiple conflicts between Hamas and Israel, with repeated wars in 2008, 2012, 2014, and beyond, causing widespread devastation in Gaza. Ongoing Issues and Challenges Several core issues continue to fuel the Israel-Palestine conflict. Israeli Settlements Israel has built settlements in the West Bank, which are considered illegal under international law. These settlements are a major obstacle to peace, as they fragment Palestinian land and make the prospect of a contiguous Palestinian state more difficult. Jerusalem Both Israelis and Palestinians claim Jerusalem as their capital. East Jerusalem, which was captured by Israel in 1967, is home to important religious sites, and Palestinians view it as the capital of a future Palestinian state. However, Israel considers all of Jerusalem as its unified capital. The Right of Return Palestinians demand the right of return for refugees who fled or were expelled from their homes in 1948 and their descendants. Israel opposes this, fearing it would undermine the Jewish character of the state. Two-State versus One-State Solution The most widely proposed solution to the conflict has been the two-state solution, envisioning an independent Palestinian state alongside Israel. However, settlement expansion, political divisions, and mutual distrust have made this increasingly unlikely. Some now advocate for a one-state solution, but this poses challenges regarding the future of a democratic and Jewish Israel if Palestinians were granted equal rights. Conclusion The Israel-Palestine conflict remains unresolved, with deep historical roots and ongoing political, religious, and territorial disputes. International efforts to broker peace have repeatedly failed, and the situation on the ground remains volatile. While the two-state solution has been the primary focus of peace efforts, the growing realities on the ground, such as Israeli settlements, internal Palestinian divisions, and ongoing violence, make achieving a lasting peace more elusive than ever. The Israel-Palestine conflict is one of the most protracted and complex disputes in modern history, rooted in historical, political, territorial, and religious dimensions. The conflict, which dates back over a century, continues to have a profound impact on the Middle East and the international community. This essay will explore the origins of the conflict, the key developments over the past century, and the ongoing challenges that make it one of the most difficult disputes to resolve. Historical Origins The Roots of Conflict The conflict between Jews and Arabs in the region we now call Israel and Palestine has its origins in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. At this time, the land was part of the Ottoman Empire, inhabited predominantly by Arabs, both Muslim and Christian, alongside a small Jewish minority. Two major nationalist movements emerged around this period that would set the stage for the conflict, Zionism and Arab nationalism. Zionism and the Jewish return to Palestine. Zionism, a nationalist movement that began in Europe in the late 19th century, called for the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine, motivated by centuries of persecution and anti-Semitism. Founded by Theodore Herzl, Zionism encouraged Jews from Europe and other parts of the world to immigrate to Palestine, where they believed they could create a safe haven and reclaim their ancestral land. In contrast, the local Arab population, which had lived in the region for centuries, saw the increasing Jewish immigration as a threat to their land and way of life. The Balfour Declaration and British Mandate The situation intensified following World War I, when the Ottoman Empire was dismantled, and Britain took control of Palestine under a mandate from the League of Nations. In 1917, the British government issued the Balfour Declaration, which stated that it viewed with favor the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people, but also stipulated that nothing should be done to prejudice the rights of the existing Arab population. However, 
the document left both sides feeling misunderstood. While the Jewish population saw it as an endorsement of their aspirations, the Arab population felt their rights were being overlooked, especially as Jewish immigration increased during the interwar years. By the 1930s, tensions between Jews and Arabs in Palestine had escalated significantly, leading to violent clashes, including the Arab Revolt, 1936 to 1939, which was suppressed by British forces. During this period, Palestinian Arabs opposed both the growing Zionist movement and the British administration. The post-World War II period and the creation of Israel. Holocaust and increased Jewish immigration. The horrors of the Holocaust during World War II greatly accelerated the movement for a Jewish state. In the aftermath of the genocide of six million Jews, global sympathy for Jewish aspirations soared, leading to increased support for Zionism. Jews fleeing post-war Europe sought refuge in Palestine, further escalating tensions with the local Arab population, which was concerned about being displaced from their lands. Un partition plan, 1947. In 1947, the United Nations proposed a partition plan to resolve the conflict by dividing Palestine into two independent states, one Jewish and one Arab, with Jerusalem as an international city. Jewish leaders accepted the plan, seeing it as a step toward fulfilling their dream of a sovereign state. However, the Arab leadership rejected it, feeling that the plan was unjust, as it gave a significant portion of the land to the Jewish minority despite the Arabs being the majority population. This disagreement culminated in the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, which broke out immediately after Israel declared independence on May 14, 1948. Surrounding Arab countries, Egypt, Jordan, Syria, Iraq, and Lebanon, invaded Israel in support of the Palestinian cause. Israel emerged victorious, expanding its territory beyond what had been allocated in the UN partition plan. For Palestinians, this event, known as the Nakba, the catastrophe, saw the displacement of over 700,000 people, many of whom became refugees in neighboring countries. The 1967 Six-Day War and its Consequences the conflict continued throughout the 1950s and 1960s, but a pivotal moment came in 1967 with the outbreak of the Six-Day War. Israel, facing threats from Egypt, Syria, and Jordan, launched a preemptive strike, swiftly defeating its Arab neighbors and gaining control of significant territories, including the West Bank, Gaza Strip, East Jerusalem, the Golan Heights, and the Sinai Peninsula. This war dramatically altered the geographic and political landscape of the conflict. The capture of East Jerusalem, and the West Bank in particular, has had profound long-term consequences. Israel began establishing settlements in these territories, which are considered illegal under international law, though Israel disputes this. For Palestinians, the occupation of these areas has been a source of ongoing resentment and a central issue in peace negotiations. The Peace Process and Setbacks The Oslo Accords, 1990s one of the most significant attempts to resolve the conflict came with the Oslo Accords in the early 1990s, a series of agreements between Israel and the Palestine Liberation Organization, PLO, led by Yasser Arafat. The Oslo Accords established the framework for limited Palestinian self-governance through the creation of the Palestinian Authority, PA, and were meant to be the first step toward a final peace agreement, including the creation of a Palestinian state. However, the optimism that followed the Oslo Accords was short-lived. Core issues such as the status of Jerusalem, the fate of Israeli settlements in the West Bank, the right of return for Palestinian refugees, and final borders were left unresolved. Subsequent peace efforts, including the Camp David summit in 2000, failed to produce a comprehensive agreement. The Second Intifada and Gaza Conflicts Following the collapse of the peace process in 2000, the conflict escalated again with the outbreak of the Second Intifada, a violent Palestinian uprising against Israeli occupation. This period saw widespread violence, including suicide bombings by Palestinian militants and harsh military responses from Israel, resulting in thousands of deaths on both sides. In 2005, Israel unilaterally withdrew its settlements and military from the Gaza Strip. However, this did not lead to peace. Hamas, an Islamist militant group, won Palestinian elections in 2006 and took control of Gaza in 2007, leading to further divisions between Fatah, which controls the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank, and Hamas. Since then, Gaza has experienced multiple conflicts with Israel, most notably in 2008, 2012, 2014, and beyond, 
causing widespread devastation and humanitarian crises in Gaza. Ongoing Issues and Challenges The Israel-Palestine conflict remains deeply entrenched, with several key issues continuing to fuel tensions. Israeli Settlements Israel's ongoing expansion of settlements in the West Bank is a significant obstacle to peace. These settlements, considered illegal under international law, fragment Palestinian territory and make the creation of a contiguous Palestinian state increasingly difficult. Jerusalem The status of Jerusalem remains one of the most contentious issues. Both Israel and the Palestinians claim Jerusalem as their capital. Israel sees the entire city as its capital, while Palestinians seek East Jerusalem as the capital of a future Palestinian state. Palestinian refugees Millions of Palestinian refugees displaced during the 1948 and 1967 wars, and their descendants continue to live in refugee camps across the Middle East. Palestinians demand the right of return, a principle Israel opposes, fearing it would compromise the Jewish character of the state. Two-State versus One-State Solution The most widely endorsed solution to the conflict has been the two-state solution, envisioning an independent Palestinian state alongside Israel. However, the growing realities on the ground, including settlements and political divisions, have made this increasingly difficult. Some now advocate for a one-state solution, but this raises concerns about whether Israel can remain both a Jewish and democratic state if Palestinians are granted equal rights. Conclusion The Israel-Palestine conflict is one of the world's most intractable disputes, with deep historical roots and numerous complicating factors. Despite numerous efforts at peace, the core issues, territorial claims, the status of Jerusalem, the right of return for refugees, and security concerns, remain unresolved. The future of the conflict is uncertain, but until a fair and lasting solution is reached, it will continue to be a source of tension not only in the Middle East but also on the global stage. The conflict requires not just diplomatic intervention but a genuine commitment from both sides to compromise and address the historical grievances that have fueled the strife for over a century.